Join us as we escape the Adelaide winter for a few weeks with a road trip to the top end of Australia. Our first stop north of Adelaide was a quick detour off the Stuart Highway to check out the Woomera Heritage Centre and Missile Park. The outdoor display has some of the missiles, rockets, weapons and aircraft that had been used or tested at Woomera. After Woomera, it was back on the Stewart Highway for lots of driving to try and get as far north as we could. We stopped at Cooper Pedy for the night and then hit the road again heading for the NT border. Just. Effective from 1 p.m. today. The Darwin, Palmerston and Darwin rural areas will enter a full lockdown for 48 hours. So we've made it into Northern Territory just as the borders have closed. So this is our first night in the NT. We decided to push on while the COVID lockdowns were happening and luckily we did manage to avoid them. Next was a quick stop at Kalu Kalu or the Devil's Marbles, which are granite boulders that have formed over millions of years and are now scattered around the landscape. This was awesome to see, especially around sunset. Found this camp on an old airstrip from World War II. Check it out. We're camped just up here. There's a few other campers right down the end. Awesome spot. After a relaxing morning at the airstrip, enjoying the warmer weather, we had a short drive to Mataranka and Little Ropa Stock Camp, where we stayed for one night. The kids loved this place, they got to feed the animals and even the sugar gliders at night time. Hey, we're on the way to a bit of springs. Get excited, Mandy. Yay. <laughs>
After swimming in the hot springs of Mataranka, we headed to Catherine for a few days at the Riverside Tourist Village where we relaxed, stocked up on supplies and checked out Nitmalik National Park and the amazing Catherine Gorge. So it was an early start this morning. We're getting up for the uh, Sunrise Catherine Gorge boat tour. This should be awesome. Lovely morning now. Sun hasn't risen yet. Heaps of bats in the background. See them down there. Been on the beautiful morning cruise down the Catherine Gorge. Just going to do a quick walk up to the lookout, check out the gorge from up the top. After that amazing dinner at Kambidji Restaurant, we were back on the road the next morning heading to Kakadu National Park, where we based ourselves at Kuinda Lodge and Jabiru to soak in the Kakadu experience for a week. First up at Kakadu was a sunset cruise on Yellow Water Billabong, which was one of the highlights of the trip. This is a must-do if you visit Kakadu, as the scenery, bird life and wildlife is spectacular. We saw plenty of crocodiles, a jabiru, and even a buffalo swimming across the river, which was pretty crazy considering the huge crocs we had seen swimming around.
Jim Jim Falls was next, and this was a bit of an adventure to get to, but definitely worth it. The 50 kilometer road in was very rough and corrugated in parts, and then there was an easy 15 kilometer full drive track to the car park. From the car park, it was a two kilometer walk with a lot of scrambling over rocks, which the kids loved, and then you get to experience the huge cliffs, the 200 meter high waterfall, and the freezing cold water if you're game for a swim. Where are we, boys? <coughs> Jim Jim Falls! Yeah! <laughs> Here we are, all working up to getting in the water. Albie, there are fish! Like, oh, God. How's that, Albie? Is that better? It's freezing cold. Uh, Who's going in first? Me! Wait. Oh. Go. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, it's Oh, it's freezing! It's chilly! <laughs> it's freezing! How is it, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> How cold is it, man? Oh my it's refreshing. On the way from Kuinda to Jabiru, we stopped in at Barongai to check out the World Heritage listed rock art. While we were in Jabiru, we went to Cahill's Crossing to see the crocodiles gathering at high tide. This is a great place to spot some crocs as they wait for the fish swimming over the crossing. We spent a good half hour just watching the crocs before heading to the local indigenous art store and then Ubia for some rock art and a spectacular sunset. A sunset on the lookout at Ubia is an experience not to be missed. It was amazing.
here we are on the lookout at Ubia. This is unbelievable. Check it out. After our amazing Kakadu experience, it was off to Darwin for a few days where we stayed at Howard Springs Holiday Park and enjoyed the facilities there, as well as a beautiful dinner and sunset by the beach at the ski club, checked out the Aviation Museum and had yet another swim in some springs at the beautiful Berry Springs Nature Park. How cool is the waterfall? Um, uh, maybe cool. <laughs> <laughs> Our 
time in Darwin had come to an end, and sadly this was the end of the trip as a family, as the mums and kids flew back to Adelaide from Darwin. So it was a solo drive all the way back to Adelaide for the dads. We did stop in at the Daily Waters pub on the way back for the famous beef and barrow and a few beers, which helped soothe the 3,000 kilometre trek back to Adelaide. Yeah. 